What's the matter? Did someone steal your sweet roll? <laughs> Did someone leave your sweet roll running in the street? Did someone leave your sweet roll running in the street? Wasteland omelet. <laughs> so flappy. <laughs> dogs shouldn't have omelets, especially robot dogs. But I'm hungry. Okay, but just this once. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. I also want some boxing tape. No, 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 no. Please, one more omelet for me. No, 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 no. No, no more for you. You keep wearing them like hats. Have this damaged garden gnome. It's good for you. Woof. Woof, woof. Doggy, want some drugs? Do you want some drugs, doggy? Do you want some turbo? Do you want some turbo? Who wants some turbo? Who wants some turbo? You do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do have some turbo. By the way, there's a Zypotec ritual in there. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, there it is. You should probably take that with us. It seemed powerful. All right, well, now what are we doing today? We're meeting up with some mercenary, Anai. Oh, right, 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 right. We're meeting up with an 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 We're meeting up with Ananas. I hope she's not too annoying. Ah! 17th century UK. Ah, yes, uh, we found these, uh, these strange fruits. Everyone seems to call them Ananas. Yep. <laughs> Um, hello? You doing okay? You just drop your uh, pet landmine? Di are you... <laughs> what just happened? An explosion? What the hell is going on here? Put your hands up. Whatever you say, copper man. Oh, you're that mutant bounty hunter. Your license is in the HQ. Wow, he just let that go quickly. Then why are you holding me up? You know why I'm here. You know who that body was. There's a rule against carrying ordnance in this camp, let alone blowing up Main Street. There are channels for this kind of thing. Well, there's a rule against blowing up Main Street? What about this kid? They're packing a small arsenal. What? Vault, kid? <sighs> Check our guests here for any more surprises. I am so done with this place. You and me both, buddy. Sir? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, he's got another Lee Enfield. Now, oh, where'd he get that? <laughs> I have a feeling that your voice is going... You got a wonk eye there, lady. Dude, don't draw attention to it. That's rude. Also, you, dreadlocks. Uh, some people have cultural reasons, or maybe they just like them. Uh, yeah, well, that's cultural appropriation. It's her own culture! It's not her own culture! She's white! Appropriating other people's culture is part of her culture! My sister used to have dreadlocks? Yes. After a long time of not seeing her, I'd be like, Wow, great, it's so nice to see you. Your hair's disgusting. Shave your head. <laughs> so mean. Just incredibly rude, instantly. Wow, you're a piece of shit. Not a piece of shit, I just... Uh, to, be, to be fair, she could actually pull it off. I feel like none of that stuff can be, can be left in. Hips and, hips and nips, hips and nips. It's gotta be sexier, I don't eat. Who the hell is this guy dancing sexy in the bar? So, you're Silverman's new lab man, huh? It's called Lap Dog. Oh no! Ugh. It's probably for the best. I saw him flossing earlier. 17th century UK. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sir. We found these, uh, these strange fruits. Everyone in the entire world seems to call it Ananas. Should we? I think we should probably just Pineapple! Uh, but everyone calls it Ananas. Are we everyone or are we Englishmen? Pineapple it is then. <laughs> Jolly good, jolly good, jolly good. Well, you're the special agent everyone is talking about. You look a little colorful for a standard NCR merc. Hi, Pineapple. <sighs> yeah, no offense, but you look pretty weird yourself. Mmm. <laughs> Never seen a mutant before. I like to leave a signature impact on my targets and their employers. It's good advertising for business. Humans weak! Super mutant strong forever! Yeah, you gotta scream that. Then yeah. you'll pull off the mutant look. Then, then you'll be a mutant. So who was that guy you murdered? Him. A wanted criminal. A convict who escaped justice <laughs> once or twice before. The law called in his marker. I guess we can call this a case closed. Alright, so uh, what's your name? Pineapple? I'm sure we could stand here all day and get a nice tan, but I have a bounty to report in. Can we get this over with? 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. You can tell me that your name is Pineapple. It's fine. I don't have to answer to you, lover boy. If you have anything important to ask, buy me a drink first. Now oh, an alky mutant, huh? Uh, alcoholic. All right. Well, it's not even my type, anyway. I like your hat, though. <laughs> I actually really like that hat. That's not a good thing, though. I really like that hat. That hat's fun. Oh, it's got like a fa it's got like a fa oh he has the same hat. It's got like a falcon feather in it. That's super cool. I like this hat. Yeah. We didn't buy you a drink, but here, enjoy this Brahmin skull. Have a nice Brahmin skull. All right. What did you want to talk about? So, who was that guy you murdered in cold blood? Someone who got on the bad side of the law. Here, read his death sentence. They passed me this back in the hub. Decided he just wasn't the kind of trash you should leave around for someone else to step in. Cool. Uh, you're a bounty hunter. I need to call in a mark for some help. I tend to work alone. Thanks. Um, actually, it's about this key. The the big fat senator dude said you have a copy to get us into Fort Dagger Point. I might. Did the good senator mention anything about my price? Um, apparently I was told Project Brazil is still active. Here are the coordinates. Huh. Look at that. Clever bitch. I knew this was too easy. Who? All right. What? Thank you for your time. Here's your half of the key. <laughs> Don't mind the dried blood. I had to tear it out of the gut of a super mutant brute. How dare you murder your own kind? <laughs> um, what is Project Brazil? Part of an old war military project. Since you have the key, I'm guessing you'll be the first to find out when you use it to open the door. Ooh, Project Brazil is in Fort Dagger Point, eh? I have... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there was a 1979 film. It's a movie about Joseph Mengele going to Brazil and trying to clone Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Do you think that's what we're going to find? Project Brazil is a military plan to clone Adolf Hitler? Is that what we're going to find, Pineapple? Not a clue. See you around. You should travel with us. Back again, eh, cowboy? Who's how, this dude? How about your bodyguard? Don't get in my way, kid. Don't get in my way. Why do you got a muffler on your back? Why do you have an Enclave helmet on your back? Why aren't you wearing the Enclave helmet and you're wearing a <laughs> welding mask instead, you goober? I was doing some torch work earlier. Didn't oh. want to get any sparks on my good helmet. Goodbye. Bert, is he a reference to Bert Gummer from Tremors? Hey there, pal. I got another deal for you. You interested? I did some work for Bert earlier. What do you got, another wayward caravan? Yeah. This time they were headed in from New Reno. Ran straight into a pack of raiders up north. We got a radio call about them getting hit. Sounds like they were pinned down in a wash off the 15. If you got time... You ought to head out into the desert and intercept their position. Odds are they don't have long. Uh, well, we're kind of busy, but sure, got a position for us? I got a relative fix. You may want to follow the sound of gunfire when you get closer. Why are you assuming they're going to be under fire again? That's what I always do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I may have had... You... What? <laughs> oh, it was a drunk person. Oh, okay. Leave the caravans alone, I'm assuming it was you guys. Hey, we leveled up. Science! 60? I put my points in science. Boop, 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 boop. boop. <laughs> I put my points in science. Science rules. <laughs> Inertia is a property of matter. <laughs> I think that's Bill Nye the science guy. It is, yes. That's, a, that's, the, wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong thing. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what perk I pick, does Bruh, it? I, I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Do that one, too. Oops! I confirmed it. <laughs> oh, well. Well, guess I'm gay! <laughs> Did we do it? Did we save the caravan? Are we heroes? We're, uh, we're losing the bodies like heroes do. There they are. Uh, hey, you guys... Oh, oh. Oh, war Man never down. changes. Some of these soldiers were alive. That's surprising. Man down. Please 
retreat or die in a pool of your own filth. Whoa, you blew her away. <laughs> um, I think all of the NCR soldiers that were here died. All of them? Yeah, I don't think we saved any of them. Dang it. Oh, hey, one did live. Hello. Hello, nice mustache. You, uh, you're welcome. First thing I did was compliment his mustache. Maybe I am gay. <laughs> Not being disparaging, it's just, just... He has a sexy mustache, that's all! That's a really good mustache! Game respects game! I am very comfortable saying when a guy has a nice ass. Oh, well, now we're talking about asses, that's, that came out of nowhere. I'm comfortable in my sexuality. <laughs> Which is apparently gay. Now! <laughs> what, oh, the torch? The caravan flare! Follow us, Brahm, and we'll take you back to base! Do they... Do we actually have to walk all the way back? Come on, it's this way! Let's go! Come guys, on. guys, there you go! Come on, let's go! Hold him up, move him out! Hold him up, ride him out! Rawhide! Rawhide! Ride him in the ride! Ride him up, ride your cousin, roll tide! <laughs> and now Mike has offended every single person living in... Arkansas. Arkansas. Thank it's you. Alabama! <laughs> Do we actually have to walk all the way back? No, we can fast travel. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Scared me. It's like, that's too far to walk. Yeah, it is. Oh, but there's enemies nearby. Dump, what? dump, dump. Are we at the Last Supper? One of you will betray me tonight. My money's on Kurtz. Yeah, my money's on Kurtz. You know what? Let's just Point go ahead and <laughs> do deal with that. There we go. All right, all right. now we can fast travel. <laughs> you can. <laughs> The cows all fast traveled with us! Hooray! Hooray! Hey there. Oh, there's a, there's the next caravan that's gonna get ambushed. We'll see you guys later. Yeah, we'll see your corpses in about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Bernie? I mean, Bert. All right, nice work. You're turning out to be a regular hero, cowboy. Heck yeah. I can't wait to crack open the crates they brought back. Hot damn. May have to spend a little time alone with them. What do you... When you say, time alone... Yeah, nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just want to take a little look at it. Uh, you're skimming off the top, aren't you? Alright, fine, you caught me. But I have requisition rights that come to a man in my position. Uh -huh. You want a slice of that high-end pie? Then you better come up with a real convincing argument. <laughs> There's only one option. Threaten him. What? Well, I don't want to threaten him. I want to back out of this fun. I was thinking court martial, actually. We're gonna stitch. Ain't no one on this base gonna believe you. Piss off, moron. Okay, bye. <laughs> Quest fail. Wow, I love that. I love that it only gives me one option. All right, we'll try again. I'm just saying, if you're racketeering, I want in before you know something happens to it. You could just walk your ass back to whatever Silverman's got going on and leave me out of it. Mm. Okay, so I shouldn't have even brought anything up. Okay. Good to know. Third time is the charm. The Republic thanks you for your service. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> cool. Let's go Let's go actually do the mission that we, we set out to do. Y yes. Detective Zack is on the case. Detective Zack is on the case. Detective Zack has arrived! Hello, it's me, Detective Zack. You've met Park Ranger Zack, and you've met construction worker Zack, but have you met Detective Zack? He's a hard-boiled detective with nerves of steel, and a gun also made of steel. We'll have to play around a Russian roulette, only there's six bullets in the revolver, and I fire all of them at you. If you ask about the titanium rod in my leg. Anyway, what- To be interpreted as- Bang, 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 bang! Ugh. So... Yes, Detective Zack did just quote a line from the Son of Sam letters. <laughs> That's maybe in poor taste, but Detective Zack does what he wants. Because he's a hard-boiled detective with two slugs in him. One of whiskey in his gut, and the other one made of lead also in his gut. Because he got shot in his gut once. That's the line... From a Calvin and Hobbes comic. Detective Zack, can we investigate Fort Dagger Point now? No, Detective Zack still has to slur some more words. Eucalyptus! Tritone butthole! Alright, time for some target practice. Here with me, Detective Zack. 
Detective Zack is gonna get nothing done today. It's a very unproductive day for D Detective Zack. There we go! Finally, I took three shots before I got there. It's probably because this gun doesn't actually have a freaking rear sight on it. <laughs> Who designed this piece of crap? Detective Zack has a shotgun loaded with double. Yeah, keep walking forward, Ben. See what happens when you walk forward into Detective Zack's line of sight. You get shot in the back of the head by Double Hot Buck! Also, oh my god, your nose is flat. <laughs> what happened to your nose? You shot him in the face so hard his nose ben, became concave. Ben, what happened to your nose? Oh my god, it's literally, it's literally concave. It looks normal from this angle, but you look like a PlayStation 1 character. Oh my god, Ben. <laughs> Thank god there wasn't anybody in his operation tent when Zack was doing target practice on those bottles. It would have ripped straight through and hit the general in the back, and he would have been like, what? <laughs> and then you would have been court martialed, Zack. Then I would have been Detective Zack. Detective Zack works outside the law because he's a hard boiled detective with nerves of steel and balls of gallium. He's we actually a cyborg. He's made from many metal pieces. Made from many. I don't actually know what gallium is used in. It's it's a very interesting metal, though. You can hold it in your hand and it starts to melt. You ever seen those videos where someone like stirs a coffee with a spoon and then the spoon melts into the coffee and they're like, wow, that's some strong coffee. They usually use a spoon made of gallium for that joke. Because it melts in coffee. Because it will melt in coffee. Anyway, I bet you're really surprised that I'm the hero of the NCR, aren't you? <laughs> Detective Zack has a riot shotgun that he uses to dispel riots. Detective Zack has many interesting things to say. You'll hear many of them on the journey. Clear the crime scene. Detective Zack needs to examine it. Mm, yes, indeed. This grass is made of grass. Alright, let's fucking go. <laughs> Can you believe that crazy demon bitch? God damn. What? I don't normally swear like a bastard, but shit. The nerve of these frontier freaks blows my damn mind. You still have a bomb in the hub, and your ass goes to jail. I can't wait till we finally pacify this place. Jeez. W what, what are you, um... Screaming about pineapple, are you? Oh, pineapple! Oh my god, I forgot. What's your problem with these frontier folk? I like clear-cut rules. I like knowing who the bad guys are, what my orders are, and that's it. I don't care about drama or opinions. First time I came out here, I knew this was a gray area. The hub isn't like that. There's law back there. It makes life simple. It sounds like the hub's version of law is that gangsters and politicians run everything. Yeah, well, I'm not too keen on that either. It's why I lost my post and wound up out of here. Couldn't keep my damn mouth shut. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were sending all the real patriots out here to die. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds correct. All right, so how do we get to Dagger Point? On foot. You can run on ahead of us and we'll meet you there. Or you can follow in the train to aid in defense. The raiders are going to be out in force all along our path. It's better if you follow along behind us. It's a snail's pace, but with our small company, it's up to how lucky we get along the way. Escorting a Brahmin caravan? That sounds like a job for somebody who doesn't own a buggy! Yeah, you'll be fine. I really think that's a bad idea. Normally I'd go along with this, but I'm not feeling it. How about you come along with us instead? See you there, Captain Schmuckatelli! Ah, for God's sakes, fine. <laughs> I'll lead the Brahmin to Dagger Point, but if we run into trouble, you'll have to report back to Silverman why the mission failed. I'm not planning on dying alone out there. My ghost will be back here to kick your ass when we get back. <laughs> that's fine, because ghosts aren't real. Uh, yes, sir, the mission failed. Why? Because Captain Jameson was incompetent. I don't yeah. know why you trust that guy. I'll definitely listen to you, 19-year-old boy that just showed up. <laughs> Run on. We'll catch up in a day or two. We'll see you there. Bye. All right, boys and girls. Let's look alive. We got a long walk ahead of us. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't walking there. <laughs> I, I will take the buggy. <laughs> All right. And so, Detective Jack... Hitch the road after consuming a handle of whiskey and a fifth of gin. There's no a rules. A truer detective. Oh, hang on to the convenience store, Zach. Detective Zach needs another beverage for the road. Well, this convenience store is fucking dead. <laughs> Open up! Detective Zach needs his whiskey! And that skull. That skull looked really cool. Oh, is that crystal head vodka? Oh, no, that's just actually a human head. <laughs> Is there anyone alive?
live out there, not for long. This is death. Death. 98.1. Yeah, give me some metal music! That sounds like death metal to me, alright. Not yet, it doesn't. Oh, okay, okay, that one's in there. What's this? Just gotta build it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yes, back to this place, the outpost. Ah, uh, I remember this. Woo! Oh boy, oh, it does these sections out. Okay, I actually need to stop talking like that, or otherwise I'm gonna get stuck. That was pretty awesome music to drive around the desert in. Oh yeah, that's definitely copyright. Yeah, that's that. Can't can't keep that one in. <laughs> okay, can't go that way. Uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> Looks like. Hey, I've been turned into spaghetti. Oh, we're out of washer fluid. This is never gonna come off now. Vehicle still took a lot of damage. We never actually fixed it. <laughs> oh yeah, we probably should fix that. And it's out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have fixed it, shouldn't we? Yep. <laughs> hey, guess what, everybody? We decided we were we wanted to go with you after all. <laughs> hey, boss, where in hell are we going anyway? No one's told us yet. Won't matter once we get there. Don't want the raiders getting wind of it. They have spies everywhere. They got spies in Union City? Who? Me! Remember old Greg on Valley View Road? He's been selling talk to him. We're aware of it, and feed him some bad news. Holy crap, I had no idea! So what's the score now? Fort Dagger Point. We got a special key that'll get us in. We're to raid it for supplies, then bail out. Ah, man. Now I wish I never said anything. Man, I hate being briefed on the mission. All right, so now they're gonna have me go plant landmines on a bridge. So... Man, they really... Oh, God. Yeah, this... Su like, look how far... We're gonna saunter all the way look over how, there. Okay, so this is how far we've made it from Union City Gate. And we've been screwing around for God only knows how long, and this is where you have to go to. <laughs> We'll travel with you for a few more minutes, but we're gonna get bored and wander off soon. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna find something that needs to be shot, and I'm gonna go in that direction. I hope we get ambushed soon and someone fast travels us there. I hope we get captured. Man, if I got knocked unconscious and, like, fast traveled there, that would be terrible. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge! So which one of you is the traitor today, huh? Is it you? Is it you? Where the is it you? Are. It's the cow. It's the cow. Oh, her name is Bella. Did they all. Oh, I thought they all. Oh, had his names. name is Pac Brahmin. Oh, I thought they all had names. I got really excited that her name was Bella. You I was could... like, oh. They wanted to give you the freedom to name the other three. Uh, Bella, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. No. <laughs> Everything's Huey, Dewey, and Louie with you. You think you're very clever, young man, but it's Ducktales all the way down. <laughs> It's boring! Come on, can we get ambushed already? This is what 90% of being in the military is like. Yes. 90% of being in the military is this. The other 10% is maintaining your weapon. Alright, well this has been boring as hell. See you there, guys. Yep. Hold up a second. Why is there a normal cab over engine semi truck in the middle of the desert? This is the Fallout universe. Why is this here? Why wouldn't it be here? Uh, because this is a non nuclear diesel powered semi truck. It's only disguised as a diesel powered semi truck to fool the Chinese! Uh huh. You know, I, I kind of want to get to Fort Dagger Point, but then Ben is the chosen one. They just do it to Ben instead. Why? They're... Oh, my God. <laughs> ben, it's a fucking M1 Abrams. Oh, my goodness. We really pulled the wool over the And they got here before we did. <laughs> this is an M1 Abrams. Yeah? You're welcome. This... All right, we made it this far. No! Looks like we no, we're not talking about this right too. now. I'm talking about the fact there's an M1A1 Abrams here. This doesn't make any sense. It makes less sense 
than an M4 Sherman being in the frontier. At least those existed in the 1940s. And like the whole Fallout universe is supposed to be, it's like if the 1950s just kind of continued on, then it kind of makes sense that like an M4 Sherman would be in there. But then, and, and M1 Abrams, really? 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 Hey, Captain Jameson, Zach found an anachronism and he's unhappy. Just the fact, the, the fact that it is literally an M1 Abrams is so infuriating. Is it infuriating to you? It really is. So there's that, that vehicle right there. That's what the vehicles in Fallout are supposed to look like. Uh -huh. They're not supposed to look like that cab over engine truck back there. They're supposed to look like this. Not this. <laughs> All right. This. Mm. Well, Zach, maybe the M1 Abrams here did actually exist in the 1940s, but we didn't know about it because it was top secret government stuff, which is why we're here at Fort Dagger Point. Well, there you go. The, the tank is gone. It no longer offends the eyes. You know what? I actually feel better now. Thank you. <laughs> the Sherman tank. There we go. That's less there of an anachronism. Look, look at how easy that was. <laughs> we fixed it. And then this looks more, this does not look out of it, is out of place, is that, whatever. It's so stupid. Anyway. It's fine, you can have those complaints, little nitpicky, it's and fine. I realize that I'm pro I'm one of the few people that's gonna like notice that and be like, oh, it's stupid. But it's just, you can't make everyone happy. So what, I, I probably just shouldn't care about it, but just. We ready to get a move on? I don't want to idle here much longer. Did we scout ahead properly? Are we good? Whatever. Yeah, let's just go. All right, and then now we're going to immediately get ambushed because I didn't actually bother to look ahead. Oh, now you run. Now you <laughs> now run. Now they run. <laughs> what a joke. Uh, all right, all right. Need to be in a better Man, mood. this place is enormous. Yes, it is. How are we supposed to search all this for useful supplies? The city of the dead still sleeps. We only need the stuff on the inside. Artillery, be mini mindful. nukes, spare guns, and ammo. It's supposed to be a treasure chest. I'm ignoring that Abrams. I'm ignoring the Abrams. Yes. We're killing all the people. There's definitely raiders here. We'll take them out. Protect the cows. Keep the cows alive. We keep the cows safe. God bless all these cows. Bovines I love. Stand beside them and milk them because <laughs> otherwise they get grumpy. Why are there ghouls here? Take out the ghouls. Take out the ghouls. Ah, oh, damn it. Those bodies must be from the scout Silverman sent last week. Oh. Nah. Oh, okay, we're moving on. Okay, we're going this way, then. <laughs> yeah, what's left of the poor bastards? Still think we're alone out here, Captain? The army's still bogged down elsewhere. Congress is keeping us out of the fight. We're just here on desperate measures. Less talking, more shooting! Yeah, desperate is right. You two quit talking. Firing! We're going this way, are we? Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh, the officer went this way. Yup. And now we touch that tag. That thing's it. Now we're going this way. Now we go this way. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. <laughs> <laughs> things may be a little bit glitchy. Now we go back this way. Yep. Now go left and right and left and right. God, he's so fucking broken. Oh my God. He's actually going towards Fort Dagger. Uh, he's going point. towards something we haven't gone towards yet. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, back on track. We're back in the saddle. Oh, are we actually going to make progress? Wait. We'll pass the Abrams and we'll ignore those. Is that, is that a pirate flag? Take yes. out those birds, apparently. Shoot the birds. Oh, we got robots. All right. Yep. All right. So this the tribes of this area call it the Prison of 10,000 Horrors. <laughs> They say it holds back the gates of hell. Does it now? Thank you for that information, Ben. Very useful. All right. Let's see if the key really does the trick. Agent, do it. Oh my god, we're here. Oh my god, we're Down, here. Hurry up! Those raiders will send back up that'll be on top of us in a minute. There weren't any raiders! There weren't any! Maybe they're all out getting lunch. I like how there was a password just laying right there, too. Uh, hello? Oh. All right, let's go. Get the cows inside. Hurry. I want this door sealed every, up behind Literally us. every single other time you use this thing. Nope, you had to use the key card on the door itself. 
Oh, good, a black hole. Into the black void, everybody! Probably. But also, I noticed this thing while we were talking to him. No post is necessary if mailed to the deceased. <laughs> so yeah, as long as you're sending letters to a dead guy, you don't have to pay for it. Apparently, but how would you even know that if you're the mail deliverer? I have no idea. Anyway. More importantly, that means that from now on, I will be spending the rest of the year dead for tax purposes. For mailing purposes. <laughs> for mailing purposes, I will be dead for the rest of the year. Load shotgun. 